In this video, I'm going to talk about real spiritual ego. By the end of this video, you should be able to determine whether you're an unhealed healer or not. In 2014, I attempted to take my life only to have Archangel Michael show me that suicide was no longer an option. For the past 10 years, I've been working with shamans, energy healers, and just spiritual people in general. Along with the out-of-body experience that I had, where my guides and angels showed me some sacred geometry where I got to tap into the oneness of this reality and see where the collective was at in regards to their spiritual evolution. I also had past life memory come back to me just in the last two years where I remember speaking to a massive angel in another universe and we were discussing how one of two things were usually happening with the spiritual people down here on planet earth. We discussed how most woke people down here fell into one of two categories. Either they were blinded by the light and scared of their own farts, or thought they were the shit and had no more healing to do. And after 10 years of working with spiritual people, I can honestly say that this is absolutely correct. Have you ever been parked at a red light with your O2 Honda Civic when a Lamborghini or some other nice sports car pulls up right beside you? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? You know, back then for me, I'd simply say to myself, oh, he's probably a drug dealer. This was just my ego's way of protecting me. Had I thought to myself, oh, maybe this guy actually did something with his life and applied himself and became successful, because then I'd have to be forced to acknowledge that I wasted all of my 20s getting drunk at the bar every chance that I got. So back then, I would just write this person off as a bad guy and that would keep me satisfied now when i pull up to a red light a lamborghini or a nice sports car pulls up beside me i'm just grateful to be able to take in that beauty of that vehicle as well as look at the individual and just think to myself like he made it congratulations you know i can do that if i apply myself like he did and this is what happens in the spiritual community when someone has spent years as an energy healer or psychic and someone comes along and holds up a mirror to them that they're not willing to look at. A lot of people have just downed mushrooms as a drug and done as many ayahuasca ceremonies as they can to unlock their psychic abilities to read your energy, which basically means that let's say you're talking on the phone and then three days later, a week later, a month later, you see one of these individuals they can basically get a download of everything you've been up to and they can hear the conversation you had on the phone. If you're within a couple feet of them, they can hear your thoughts too because thoughts are energy. So there was a time when I told the woman in the spiritual community, I bet you $500 there's no fucking person on this planet that could read my brain. Luckily, she never took that bet because she knew what was up. Getting back on point, a lot of people confuse psychic abilities with a connection to God. A lot of people with psychic abilities think that because they have it, they're like something special. But in reality, every single human being on this planet is supposed to be able to hear other people's thoughts telepathically and read people's energy. It's just we have so much Wi-Fi and 5G and poison in our body that's calcifying our pineal gland we're still spiritually stuck in the stone ages down here on planet earth over the past decade working with probably over a hundred different energy healers and shamans the one thing that i've found is that when i came along even though they'd been in the field for many years and had these woo woo abilities thought they were the top of the top as soon as they seen that i've been through more shit than them and that i healed more than them they got all uppity instead of going within and doing the inner work they start painting me as the bad guy. One thing I've noticed in the spiritual community is everyone wants a participation ribbon just for competing, just for lifting a finger. Everyone's equal, oh, I lifted a finger. This guy got hit by a semi-truck, oh, I lifted a finger, we're equal. Okay. I think there's no difference between first and last and that first and last doesn't even exist. It's not a race, but there is a ranking in the spiritual community and not everyone has the same connection to God. Is that spiritual ego? Or is that facts? Sometimes when we don't like to hear facts because it makes us feel insignificant like we were when a child and nobody on this planet has healed their insignificance from their childhood trauma bullshit years. Many spiritual people just think as long as you own a quartz crystal, some sage, and have done a plant medicine journey or two, everyone's either just below you or equal. This is the true definition of spiritual ego. Now may not be the classiest thing to go around saying you've healed more than people or you have a closer connection to God. 
But for me personally, as someone that looked to the spiritual community for help after I attempted to take my life in 2014, as soon as these healers found out who I was before I did, they started slandering my name rather than recognize that they still had a shit ton of inner work to do. Some send me death spells that have their own son killed. Some start cursing the artwork that I gave them in appreciation for whatever reason. Some people think that in order to be a divine masculine, you can never lose your cool. Kind of like a dog that just got neutered a day ago. Even Jesus flipped tables and threw chairs when faced with incompetent fools. He even cursed God in the beginning of his awakening, saying, why did you ask me to come here? When he evaluated humanity, he saw them as babbling idiots. Kind of sounds familiar. Many people in the spiritual community will throw around the term spiritual ego. Just like that example I gave you with the Lamborghini. This is just a self-defense mechanism. Because everyone down here is so afraid to go within. They'd rather live in chaos and drown their reality out with addictions. Truth is, not everyone down here has been through the same amount of shit. Truth is, not everyone down here has done the same amount of inner work. And the truth is, not everyone has the same connection to God. So how do you know if you're an unhealed healer made it this far in this video? It's quite simple. If you were triggered by any of those past comments, then you're one of those unhealed healers. But if you just sat there with a smirk on your face, sipping your green tea, decaffeinated, and you know that you've done the healing and you know that your connection with God is strong, then you wouldn't have got triggered. That's all I got. Thanks for watching.